the Neo Hinnig a point to Shark fit to four to three chin, to scale Bronach and Homa. And Jack Duffy's kick out is dropping 50 yards out. Dolan breaks the ball down, but it comes to Seamus Bonner. Seamus Bonner getting it out to Brian McInnes. The ball is dropping 75 yards out from both goals. It comes to Seamus Bonner of Donegal. Seamus Bonner soloing across the field. He's now only 50 yards out, 50 yards out from the Tyrone post. A good kick in. It's going to come in towards Hart and it's gone into the goal. It's gone into the goal. Hart came forward. The ball was that little bit too high for him. And Donegal lead by a goal with six minutes left in the game. Shinnegrave. Seamus Boner, Marshin, a far a Kyla and son, a dear of Trish, Gervoig Dunning Al, Clehe Kanish, Naher and Agusling, a Tafar Taka and Larthling, Fui Hel Shemus, Mar Imror, Agus Mar Vanishtor, Fresh and Martin McGree, Tafalch Rose of Archin. Martin Viahana and a Vahagot, their Seamus Boner, Mar Imror, Visheshen, a Kriok no Mar Imror, Nervi Tussis, I said Tusnu, Agus Gandad Bisha Buntukle, for a Nohado, Mar Falden for a Vanishti of the Fresh. Yeah, um, Mill, there was a famous Irish book, Mocking, and back in the past, and my mother always said, there was, there was a line, and she always taught us when we were growing up to talk to young people, and that there was, Na John Rudd, be a Kiha, be ugly, no Naya, or then you'll be a Becca to a Yanu. And I think Seamus Boner was all that. He was a gentleman in every way you took him. Uh, he was very good. I remember when I started off, he was one of the players who looked after me on the football field. He was very, very good a man. And, you know, uh, I called him a month before he died, and then we sat down and watched Celtic on television with the wife made a sandwich for us and all, and very good man. And, you know, he was brilliant at scoring goals. He was known to be a great goal scorer, but the great thing about him as a player, Mill, was that you could play him anywhere from midfield to full forward. And that's, you know, not many Gaelic footballers have that. He could do that. And I'm just thinking about here, you know, if there's a Gaelic football team in heaven, you have John Egan and Seamus Boner now in the forward lane, and it's starting to become a, a very good team. It is. You have the makers of an all star team in there somewhere. Um, Martin, just there's probably a generation of people out here who, who don't know who Seamus Boner was. So will you just tell us in a few brief sentences, if you can, about his footballing career? Yeah, he was. Well, when I started playing, when I started playing, he was playing at full forward. Before that, he played in the middle of the field with Donegal. And the Ulster Championship games that Donegal won, he was probably the main reason they won them. They were someone like eight points down against down, and he scored, I think, three, three goals or something in that game. He scored goals. He scored an important two. He got two penalties in the Ulster final 83 against Cavan. He put one of them to the back of the net. He thumped it. And the second one, he just knocked it over the bar. You know, he had a great football brain, as I said. You could play him anywhere in the field. Lovely fellow. And he was a selector on the team in 92, and he had a brilliant football brain. And he went on to manage Leitrim afterwards, and he, he was involved in club teams in St. Bridges in Dublin, where his son plays for Cabin. And he was involved in, in Baileyborough, and he took them to an Ulster club final as a manager, Baileyborough, from Cabin. So he's a great record as player. And he was a gentleman, a pure gentleman. He never changed. He was very cool on the sideline. Nothing about him changed. And he was just a gentleman. I was just glad that I knew him. And, you know, just like like a lot of people now, he's you know he's passed away too young. But well, great memories in the family of great memories. You mentioned the team of 83 but he was involved with the team of the early 70s. He was the first, as I understand it, first Donegal man to win three Ulster titles. And I mean, I suppose showing from the early 70s right the way through to the early 80s, it shows the longevity of his career as well. Yeah, exactly. You know, from, from, from point of view, you know, and he was he was, he was was the mainstay of them teams. He wasn't just a player sober at corner forward. He was playing in the middle of the field, maybe centre forward, moved to full forward, wanted him and, you know, he made that difference and he was a fabulous all-round player. You know, he, he wasn't, he was, he was about six foot, but he was very, very strong in the air. He had two good feet when normally players, teams in the past players didn't have it. He used to, well, he used to use them in different positions and that there. I think somebody said one time Donegal they were picking a team and they said, I wonder if Seamus Boner ever played full back. So he played in, in most positions. But yeah, he was involved, as you said, he, he won three Ulster titles, the first player to do that on, on the football field and then was involved as selector then and, and the All Ireland won in 92. And you know about him, you talk to him, he was nice. He looked after the Donegal players in Dublin, which is very important uh, at that stage. And, you know, we always made sure that they got, they got to trade and everything else. And, you know, he, he was a real gentleman. I don't say that lightly, you know, just because now he's passed away. He was a real true gentleman. I was glad that I called the house, actually, to be able to see him, you know, a month before he died and enjoyed that cup of tea and enjoyed watching the match. I was going to ask you about the match. He got to see it, and I'm sure that it's absolutely terrible what happened but time comes and catches up with us all i suppose but on, on the note of Donegal winning in all ireland it was it was nice yeah it's great for him and we, i did say that day that hopefully the next time we'll be back that we take the sam mcguire back to him and actually michael murphy was going to call out to the house and we rang kath and he was just too low at that stage to call the sam mcguire but he listen he as you said he, he got he got to see the match and everything else and he'd be a very happy no prouder and happier Donegal man i know his, even his son played for dublin and everything else i think he was over the moon and he just chatted about the match and everything else and he used to love the banter and the chat and meeting people in Dublin and you know he shows himself like I think it summed it up was Jerry McIntyre Dr. Jerry McIntyre sent me a text the day he was buried he said we've lost a truly great club man and you've lost a truly great county man and I think that summed it up well can I ask you very finally 
I know that he spent a lot of his adult life in Dublin, as you say. He looked after the Dublin, play the Dublin base players for that 92 team. I was reading in the programme here today, he had some tough physical battles with the likes of Brian Mullins and these guys when he played. He played with guard and he played with civil service. And he was, I suppose, in essence, he was, he was a leader of men that the opposition always knew they had to get to, to be able to beat the team that have to beat him first. Exactly, and that summed him up. He was very, very tough and strong. And as I said, he looked after the young players in the field. He looked after everybody. And that's the type of man he was. And I mean, the respect that them Dublin players had for him, even with, say, the likes of Jerry McAtee, Brian Mullins, they were tough men. They were hard men to up against. But Boner always stood up against them. And the great battles, even I think a great battle with even the great Paddy McCormick of Offaly. There's always a st story told about them great battles against that good Offaly team. Okay. One thing about Boner, he, he, you know, he didn't stand back from anything. Okay. And, you know, he'll be missed. He will. Gurmila Magad, Marty Magad, Martin 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 Magad, Martin